this video we're gonna see how we can animate characters in Final Cut Pro 10. Hey everybody, this video is the part 2 of the series How to bring your photos in life. On this video we're gonna see how we can use the Pro Puppet plugin from Pixel Film Studios to animate our characters. Characters that they can be humans with uh, our photos or even comics and any other figure that you want to animate and make it uh, like it's moving, like in the video that you saw in the intro. For those of you who are watching me for your first time, welcome, I'm Emilio Takas and I post videos here on tutorials, filmmaking tips and gear reviews. So if you're into this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Let's go now into Final Cut Pro 10 and remember that I will have a link in the description of this video down below with the Pro Puppet plugin and uh, you can use the coupon code EMILIOPIXEL and get 30% off your purchase. Let's go! We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and let's see how we can use the Pro Puppet from Pixel Film Studios. Now, first of all, I have placed an image that I'm going to use as a background and also I have here an image of a dancer that I have it in a PNG with transparent layer. Now, remember that this plugin works with this kind of images. If you don't have the transparent into your image, you can go into your favorite photo editing program and make it transparent. So let's go. The first thing that we want to go is to go into titles after we have installed the plugin and go into Pixel Film Studios Pro Puppet and drag the Pro Puppet tool. The next thing is to adjust the Pro Puppet tool layer and match the length of the background that we are going to use. In that case, we are five seconds. Now we go into the inspector panel on the right and we see that first of all, we have the instructions. We can toggle instructions for now, we can disable this and then we go into the media source here. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select the image that I have placed it, as you can see, next here on the timeline. And I'm going to click on apply clip. From the media scale, I can adjust the media to the size that I want. And the next step, we're going to click on generate mesh. As you can see, here we have the mesh and with the expand mesh, we can make it even larger if we want the mesh to be larger of the portion of the image. Let me undo this. And the higher the density on the mesh is, the more dense is going to be the mesh. So if I place it here, I will have more options to do any of the adjustments, the animation that you will see later on. As you can see here, I can click this and disable the display of the mesh and then click on this and enable it. And from here, mm. if I change the scale of the mesh, I can also change the picture that I'm going to work to animate it. Also, we can change the color of the mesh and we will see later on what this, the brass radius is about. Now, the first thing that we want to do is to add some points. How we're going to do that? We're going to press shift in our keyboard, you see here, and I'm going to add a point here, a point here, a point here. Let's add a point to the head as well, a point here to the hands and also here, here. As you see, I'm placing the points where I will make the animations to happen, okay? And also because I'm gonna drag this to animate, you will see later on why I placed these points right this. Okay, as soon as I finish with that, let's go to the end, okay? I went here and press the left arrow in my keyboard and I will drag this, click it and drag it and place it, as you can see here, and also change this as well. Okay, let's make it look a little bit natural. Okay, no natural. You see, as I'm clicking here, I can change the position of where it is. Also, I can change this and also make the size here, change the hand. Wonderful. Now, as soon as I have finished with that, let me just make this as well. Okay, let's make it a little bit. Okay even more straight line. Amazing dance figure. So as soon as I have finished with that, I'm going to add a keyframe here next to the expand mesh. And then I'm going to go into the beginning and I'm going to adjust again how I want the feet, the hands 
to be. Okay, I'm adjusting this and also bringing this again a little bit down and this a little bit up. Okay, and if I play this, as you can see, I'm creating the animation, right? Now, let me disable this layer. We can go again to the beginning and if I right click here and click on show video animation, you can see that we can see the animation. We can also go here, for example, and I can make other adjustments as well. So let's bring the hand a little bit more down and also let me add another point here so I can bring the head a little bit to the back as well. And if I play this, you see the movement. Let me show you now one more example. Let's go again to titles, drag the Pro Puppet tool, adjust it to the length, okay? We disable the instructions, we go here, we select the image, apply into clip, we change the media scale. Okay, now we will go into the beginning if we don't want to mess with the beginning of the image as our animation. Okay, and I will go on generate mesh, click here, I will make the mesh density here, and I will add a keyframe right away. And then go into the end, one frame to the left, and then I'm gonna add the key points by pressing shift like before. Let's add also a point here to this hand as well. You can be as much creative as you want. As you can understand, you can mess with the image, okay? And also here now, as you can see, if we make the adjustments, okay, let's say that we're putting the feet like that. Okay, let's change the hand as well. Okay, and the head a little bit, and the hand here. Hmm. Nope, that's not very normal. Let's go here, okay. And also, let's make this. Okay, we play and we see that we have the animation right away. Okay. But, what other thing we can do? If we go here on the mesh scale, we can add a keyframe to this as well. Let me disable the mesh so you can see. Go again at the end and also change the size of the mesh. Okay, so I'm going to change also the size so I can zoom it in and check the final result. It's zooming in as well. As you can see, very easy process. So now let's go and talk about the brass radius that I told you in the beginning. Now, with the brass radius, basically the process that we do is that we select the part of the image that we want to be above any other part of the image. So in that case, we will want to have this hand to be on top of this foot. Okay, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to hold the Alt or Option in the keyboard. And as soon as I'm holding this, you see that I'm watching here the brass. Okay, if I change the brass radius, that means that the circle is going to be bigger. Now, whatever I brass here is going to be on top. Okay. And now I will go here. I will select this. And as you can see, if I bring the foot to be behind, the final result looks like this. You see here that the hand is in front, okay? As I told you, with a color example of an image, it would be, you know, more uh, easy to understand. But I hope uh, that you got uh, the feel of how we work with this also. We can control more points and we can change them as you can see here, right? 
it's not only by one you can have as much points as you want and you can select them as you see if I click here I can select all the points here and change them it's a very creative tool many things that you can do just remember the instruction of first you place the image you can change the media scale you generate the mesh the expand of the mesh when you can mesh with the size and the density then you add a keyframe when you want to start the animation and at the end of it and that's it you have an animation of your image I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today and if you have any questions I'm waiting them in the comment section down below also if you just want to say hi don't forget to like this video it helps ranking up and as I said in the beginning subscribe and ring the bell also you will see the first part of the series like here or here and of course you will see here or here I need some time to figure this out you will see a different video that I'm sure you're gonna love thank you so much for watching I'm Emilio Takas and I will see you in the next video